photographers are like people who wash alligators. It seems unnecessary what they do. Uh, there's not a lot of use for their skills and trade set. They often are missing limbs. It doesn't mean I'm not going to help five of them. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Every day the kitten in my heart dies a swift death. I am asked so many photography related questions I can't even fathom why somebody would bring that to my expertise. I know nothing about anything. If your question is geared towards how do I shoot a bullshit show in a living room, I got your back. Or if you need to walk and talk, you know the answer is X3000, leave me alone. I bought something. You are witnessing the magical possibilities of potential here. We got a Zeiss frickin' Distagon. 35mm 1.4 with Nikon mount. Speed boosted with a 058 times booster to the Blackmagic OG. A gift of the gods. That guy who gave me the cage, he gave me the speed booster as well. And I was like, uh-oh, I have to buy an expensive lens now. So I finally did. It's bullshit. Oh, that sucks. All right, first question. Nice video. Do you gonna update your EOS R with the R8 for talking head or are you still fine with it? I'm not fine with anything in, in life in general. I, I've debated it, but I'm not the guy who just upgrades things. And when something new is released, that's not me looking at that thing. I'm waiting for used prices. Is that even on my radar? The only reason I would upgrade to that is for vlogging because they do have some light lenses and then that's actually one of the lightest full frame setups you can get and it has HD 180 frames per second. So like there's some potential there. The thing that keeps me from it is Canon has not mastered auto exposure to where it looks normal. Like it's always flashing. You just see it in the background. It's like all this pulsing flashing lights always adjusting every little second you turn one headpiece and oh no there's more shadow here let's adjust the exposure just keep it steady and calm asshole asshole so while it is nice and light potentially decent autofocus uh i don't know man you, the reason we're not using the canon eos r right now is because due to my pink eye nature of the eye cavities I need glasses and Canon can't even see me. It's like, what's that? Oh man. Sony puts an eye box right in there. It's like, yeah, no problem. We got you. Canon's like, uh oh, nobody's here doing the show. Do you want me to do it? No. Why do camera YouTubers all of a sudden want mics in their face? Unless you do it like Gerald Undone did in the last video dangling. I hate that look. It's a stupid look. I admit it. That's not my microphone. You think you thought I was recording the show with that? I don't need that. It was my mic. I think it's a dumb look to have this mic in the shot. I'm with you, especially when you get like a big condenser mic and you got the pop filter and the things hanging. And you got a pole and the things are shaking. Guys constantly adjusting it like he's a DJ. It's like, leave me alone. Just like, why do you care so much about audio? But for me, I tell you, I was using that Octava mic. I still have it. For some reason, it does not behave well with my audio interface. I don't know if it's because of the phantom power. My one side does not even work and the other side does, but it's like hissy. And I'm like, I'm sick of this shit. So unless I get an audio interface upgrade, which I don't really want to do because this works just fine. This is a dynamic mic, but yeah, I could have the Octava up here and you wouldn't see it in fantastic audio if the damn interface would talk to it, which it won't. The only thing I know for sure is I have the worst studio in the history of YouTube. It's my noisy computers like right there. The background is just random assortments of furniture and mirrors. There's nothing I can do here. It's not treated. There's always noises. The fridge is quite close. I'm near a kitchen basically. This is terrible. But one day I will move 
and you wait. I'm going to build. One room is going to be my studio. I'm going to have some stuff in the background. Might be interesting. A green screen, probably. Maybe even treating the walls for audio with, like, organic stuff that doesn't off-gas foam into my nose. No, thank you. So that's why I'm using the dynamic mic, because you have to be so close to it, and it removes basically anything that's not pointed right here. Like, it ends right there. Although I often turn, but I try to turn and stay to the mic. We're moving on from you. Can some please explain why not lower the ISO for free and still be able to use a lens hood and cap? I can't find a single answer on the entire internet for this question, surprisingly. This was on my ND filter video, so he's saying, like, why not just lower the ISO instead of putting this ND filter on? Look, there's no stupid questions in life, except this one, of course. My god, man, go outside for 10 seconds of your day, you smartphone using hunch neck piece of shit. The sun exists. Unfortunately for all of us, it ages us faster, especially us whiteies. We gotta live with the wrinkles. You don't, black don't crack. Boy, I see you. That got racist fast. So, the point is, lowering ISO only gets you so dark, doesn't it? It's just a little, oh man, oh. Upping my shutter now to 1 over 8,000. That could look good. It actually does look better than when people stop down the toniature to like, oh, F16, there, I'm properly exposed. Your whole show looks worse than a GoPro now, you're a moron. Moving on. So no, you can't, you sometimes need an ND. If I was to use this black magic, I take it outside. I need that 180 degree shutter rule. I feel like it's a cardinal sin to expose with shutter on this camera. It has to be filmmaking motion blur. So it's like, okay, we're doing that. And then F1.4 lens, 21.4. Do I have any more characters? I don't. Ow, you assholes. So ND filters are kind of needed for certain situations. If you're just vlogging, then nobody cares at all. But whatever, it does look better if you do put an ND, unless you're constantly looking at it and adjusting it, and half of your show is just, oh, a cloud went by. <laughs> How's the Zeiss looking? I put a blue light. I just got that. Ulanzi sent me this thing. I thought, like, it was so big. I was like, wow, I wouldn't mind a big one. Don't read more into that that needs to be read into. So, a quick review. This thus concludes our me receiving your item for free. On off switch, full black. Can you ever see the damn thing? Why isn't that colored or a switch? I wish it was. It's the only real negative. It's like, where is it? Is it on this side? Nothing distinguishes. Like, that's it. And lots of little controls on the back. You do all the stupid pulsing modes. Oh, wow, that's fun. It's not. Normal colors, Kelvins, or the RGB stuff. So yeah, it's cool. It's big. This is the Ulanzi LT003. Here's why I got this thing. Here, I'll show you. See what you're witnessing right now. I was planning on putting it in my kitchen cupboard, opening the door, bouncing it off that door, and then I can make kitchen videos with somewhat respectable lighting. So. Well done, Ulanzi. It's not magnetic at all, can't stick to anything, but it does have a tripod screw thing. It could be a nice hair light. Is it out of the shot? Am I sweating? I smell like oregano. Hi, Casey, I just got in from a good vlog. Oh, you're lying to me. Oh, I do not believe you. What would you recommend to DJI to make the Pocket 3 perfect? Boy, did I write down some notes. Now, most people would say, oh, I want a one inch sensor. The thing ends up huge and look, they have a decent, okay, first, let's back it up a notch. The Sony X3000 is perfect and it has a one over 2.5 
five inch sensor, which is one of the smallest you can get. The smallest bullshit sensor was a one over 0.23. And Sony's even smaller than that. Plus I have to crop in 17% to get rid of the vignettes of my thing and another 10% for active stabe. I'm using such a tiny sensor, it's embarrassing, but I'm happy with the image. So I do not wish they increased sensor size. They do have a one over 1.7, which is much bigger, totally big enough, but it's like what? 40 megapixels or something? Like, come on, man, nine megapixels. Why do you need more? You don't. You're a gimbal, there's no stabe needed. Perfect 4K, so we could do 4K 120, HD 480 frames per second, I think. Somebody at least give me 360p. Come on, frames per second, not P. I'll pee on you, pee on your mom, I've done it. Removable battery, would not hate that. You go outside and your show's just over because the battery died? Oh, just buy an extra battery pack. It's a completely different thing. It should be an easy swappable battery. Like what the hell, that's ancient technology. A battery that can be replaced on the road. Headphone jack, in the body, not making me buy some extra thing with wireless technology beaming things to my head. A mist filter. You know they had a little wide angle adapter thing? Why not a glimmer glass adapter? Bow. The cinema could be ours if they did that, but they won't. Our world lives in hellish shame. I cannot believe we're getting further and further away from what is known to be best. All camcorders and cinema cams do just enough megapixels because any more, you're asking a lot more data to be processed. And it's like 40 megapixels versus nine. Imagine that every frame nine units of information versus 40. Oh my God, we have to work five times faster, almost. It's like, oh, the, a lot of heat being generated. Okay, much bigger body now. That's why this camera's so tiny, but can do 12-bit raw. Two megapixels, that's all you need. So, come on. You know it's gonna have like some photo mode. You're on a gimbal, it's a tiny little thing. You press one shutter, the thing cracks its neck. You want to see the first gimbal murder? That's it. Now that the PowerShot V10 is here, will you upgrade your Sony A7S III to it? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you got me good. Oh, nobody will be upgrading to that thing from anything because nothing is worse than that. I almost said better, but it was a 50-50 chance I was wrong and I got it. I was hoping that they were coming with something new, but it's like not even dual pixel autofocus in that thing. Not even a lens cap. Did you see Gordon Lang's review? He was carrying the thing and he shot one picture of it. It was all fingerprints. It was just like, what is this? You didn't even have a lens cap coming with the camera? No automatic closing thing like the ZV-1 had? Like, what are we doing? And then 4K 38 bit? There are so many things that irritate me about that camera. Just like not having a removable battery. So you're out in the field, it's dead, your show's over. I'll just buy two of them then. Looks worse than a Sony X3000. Much less stable. No stabilization in the lens or body, just digital. Sometimes that works out if you're just handheld. But if you start walking, shaky things, shaky trees. And why on Satan's blood-filled earth, drenched in his hormones, are you using 20 megapixels? It's just an old sensor that you had in the Canon G7X Mark I. Same amount of stabilization, I think. Less, actually. At least that had a lens stabe. It's so bad that I'm embarrassed to have a camera channel or own any camera gear from Canon. I hate that Yasar. Even though there's so much 3D pop, you can't even stand in your own house witnessing it you'd fall out of your window zeiss pop confirmed unless it's not at all i've helped so many people five to be exact let me know if that was okay 
How did the Zeiss perform? Was that a dumb purchase? Do you have any idea how much money this cost? Almost a thousand dollars. That was dumb. That was dumb. Oh boy. I felt I had to buy a Nikon lens though to use that speed booster. It was a gift. And that gift ended up costing me more than any other situation. I almost bought just a Metabones for Canon to use this lens, 24 mil, Tony 1.4. That would have been much better, I bet. Oh, I'm a moron. Whatever, I'll live. There's a lot of stuff I have for this system that I don't like. Like three lenses. I hate my life. Oh, material items will be the death of me. Still, I'm blue, and so is my light, and Zeiss showed you that. I'm going to go. After you buy a camera conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for my next